Hey guys. All right, so we're getting a lot of questions, a lot of people asking us, Nick, how do I defend against a much taller and a much bigger attacker? So we brought Big Nick here. Uh, Big Nick is, how tall are you, Nick? 6'7". How much you weigh? 230. 6'7", 230. I'm 160, 5'11". There's a huge difference. Anybody who tells you size doesn't matter has never been in a street fight, has never been attacked by somebody that big. Just extend your arm, just grab me, Nick, like a one-arm lapel. Just look at the range, okay? Look at this, just that, just that range, the power and the height, and just look at the size of his hands if he connects, right? So size is a huge, it's, it's, an, it's, 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 a, it's a player, it's not the only one, there's mindset, there's many other things that come to play, but to say that size is not a factor, it is. You just gotta know how to defend yourself and what are the strategies you wanna apply against a much bigger attack. What's, what's going on, man? What's the problem? What's the problem? I don't wanna fight you, man. You're so much bigger than me, man. Let's go, let's go, man. Let's go, man. I'll give you some money, man. You want some money? How about you want some money? I'll give you some money, man. I'll give you some money. What do you, what do you want? Look, you're so much bigger than me, man. I'd be crazy to pick a fight with you. I'd be crazy, man. Bro. Look, I'll, I'll give, I'll give you. You want my watch? I got a nice watch, man. I'll give you my, my watch. Come on, man. Let, let's talk about it. Bro, man. You think it's a fair fight? You're so much Bro. bigger than me. You're so much bigger than me. Bro. Look, man. I really don't want to fight you, man. Like, uh, you want some money? I'll give you some Bro. money. I'll give you some money. How much money you want? Oh man. I ain't here. I ain't here for money. All right. Look, look. Okay. So you want to fight me? You really want to go? You want to fight? All right, guys, so this is, you know, I worked in nightclubs for, you know, seven years. Nick was also dormant in, in clubs. You'd be surprised how many fights start and look like this, right? Guy grabbing you, shoving you, pushing you, intimidation, invitation to fight the guys in your face. Now, Nick is 6'7". I'm 5'11". I got, you know, a few options. Well, he pushes, he's in my face. Do I want to, let's say, push me again? I have the option of saying, yeah, come on, come on, man. You want to fight? Let's go. Where I put up my hands, and here I'm about to square off with a much larger pack, and I need to have the good footwork, the speed, the timing. You need to have acquired a lot of skill. If you don't spar, you're going to get you're gonna get your ass whooped, especially against a much taller and bigger attacker. Again, look at the range that he has, okay? So if I can't slip the punches, move, if I don't know how to use my legs, if I can't, you know, throw the low line kicks, be able to go high, the last thing I wanna do is square off with a much bigger guy. What do I do? Start talking to your attacker. I'm saying everything, I'll give you money, I'll give you my watch, let's talk about it. I'm telling you, so much bigger than me, man, I don't wanna fight. What am I trying to do? I'm trying to defuse. I'm trying to de-escalate, I'm trying to talk to my, I'm trying to communicate to my attacker. I'm also drawing him in, right? I don't want to start the fight out here. If, if, if he, at one point when he pushed me far, you have an option to run. There's nothing wrong. Like the guy's, you know, literally twice my size. If he pushes you enough and you could run, boom, you're out. That's fine. If you don't have a choice and you got to fight, well, I'm not going to screw off with him. I'll let him come in, right? It's only normal. If he hasn't got what he wants, he's coming in. He's pushing, he's shoving, he's trying to intimidate me. My hands are always up. What am I doing? My hands are up. Even when he's pushing me, push me. So when he's pushing me, I'm not only moving back, I'm moving circular. I'm trying to diffuse. I'm looking also my surroundings. I'm looking, does he have a knife? Can I see both his hands? Where's his friends? There's many, many things you have to take in consideration, right? Now, that's the first thing. You have the option to run. You start talking to your attacker, I want to draw him in. Now you got to strike the guy, okay? Again, he's a much bigger, much taller attacker. What are some good strikes? One of my favorite ones is a headbutt. Okay, so if I'm here, at one point he came in like this. This is why I went whack, and I mean, I would have even like, boom, jumped in the air and like, you know, go right through his head as hard as I can and give him a headbutt and, you know, do as much damage as I could do. If he does this and he shakes it off and he's stunned, boom. You guys run, you're out. Don't sit there and try to take him down to the ground. You don't know if he's got a weapon. You don't know if his friends are coming. So if I throw the first strike and I create distance, I'm out. What else are great strikes? Right into the throat, here. So if I'm here and I'm talking to him, whack, I'll strike the throat this way, okay? You also have the groin, okay? So if he's here and he grabs me and I'm here, I'm like, okay, 
whack. I'll go right into the balls low. Why am I going low? As I step down, boom, I go high. Remember, I love to strike high, low, high, low, high, low. Get the system nervous, get the nervous system shooting high, low. So if I get, if he's here and he's doing this, I go whack and I strike the throw, boom, I'll come in and then I'll come in with a headbutt. Again, high, low, high, low, high, low. So you're, he's thinking of a lot of things. And in, against a taller attacker, you gotta bridge the gap. You gotta come in. That means when I'm striking here and I'm doing this and if I'm eye gouging and I'm kneeing, I'm not letting this person go. I'm not, I don't wanna give him any distance. If I give him this distance, look at these punches that are gonna be coming in like boom, all right? Let me tell you guys, this guy's knuckles, one shot right here and you're out, okay? You can't afford to be taking a punch from this guy. So again, I don't wanna square off. Start talking, draw your attacker in, use verbal. If you can talk your way out of it, talk your way out of it. Don't square off, go preemptive. Headbutts, throw, throw, knees, elbows. You know, elbows are great strikes. And if I'm here, I, can I come up? Can I come up this way? But again, I need to do the initial strike and then enter. As I strike, always remember, I wanna be out of his power box to each side. And again, objective is chest to back. That's the safest place to be. So again, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, uh, you know, leave us, leave us a comment. If you want to learn more self-defense, go visit our website, nickjosos.com, and stay safe.